Welcome to Cover Slaves, where we play Kill Team now. Yep. Uh, and 30k. Sometimes. And but mostly Kill because it's awesome. Also complain about GW. We play mostly, that a lot. Mostly just what complain about GW. We play that the most. We're That's our primary hobby. It's our favorite that. game, in fact. All right. So we're doing uh, Kill Team. Yeah. So I have uh, like 97 points of Space Marines. Um, what are you playing, Clary? 97 points of Space Marines. No, what faction in Space Marines? That they're... Raven the Guard, Raven Guard, okay, yeah. but that doesn't matter. It's purely matter color yet, scheme. Yeah, and uh, Jason, you're playing Tau Empire? I am playing Tau Empire. I've got Sweet. Which sub faction? Points. Yeah. Which sub faction? We'll get into that uh, in a second. your color yeah. scheme, yeah. Jason. Okay, so I'm just going to cut real quick so we can do the army. This is my uh, Space Marine Raven Guard force. Uh, important to note before we kind of get into it is we're playing with a, a house rule. It's called Four Free Specialism Levels that <laughs> aren't constrained by the tech tree uh, house rule. So basically you get four, you can allocate them however you wish, you don't have to follow the tree, um, but you only get the corresponding tactic if you hit something in the corresponding level. So if you don't take level two, you can't use level two tactic. Yeah, so uh, starting from your left to right, I have an intercessor uh, with a bolt rifle. He's not a specialist. I have a veteran, a reaver, he's got the knife and pistol. And he's got both level threes, so he has a one-man army, and he has battle scars, so one-man army lets him uh, generate a free command point that can only be used on veteran tactics at the start of every battle round. And uh, battle scar is like an aura of leadership debuff, which is cool with the reaver stuff. And he's got the, the shoots and the grapnel launcher and all that. Uh, next to him, I've got a level one combat sergeant reaver. Um, same thing, knife, pistol, shoot, launcher. Uh, no extra doodads. I've got a uh, scout sergeant for my leader. He's got the, the bolt pistol, chain sword. He's level one as well. No extra upgrades. And then I have um, uh, Dem Demolition Reaver, yeah, with uh, the Grenadier. And... Uh, three extra inches. Yeah, that's three extra inches. He's got... The same as all the other Reavers. He's got the, the launcher and the shoots and the pistol and the sword. And I got a tactical sergeant uh, with a combi flamer. And that's my, uh, that's my points. 97, you said? Yeah, it's 97. Here's my 99 points of Tau Empire. Uh, we'll start with this guy. So we'll go from, I guess, my left to right. So this guy's my heavy. The guy's holding down his burst cannon. Uh, he's got the suppressor. Rule. I basically gave each one of my stealth suits one of the extra ability points that we were talking about earlier. So for this guy, he is my heavy, and he's got the suppressor. Next to him is the comm specialist, his little dome on his back. He's got the expert rule, so he can generate a, like, quote-unquote temporary command point on a 5+, plus if he's not shaken. You have to use that battle round, basically. Next to him, we've got the Fusion Blaster. He's a veteran, and he has practice, so he gets to re-roll one to hit or to wound in the shooting phase, which is great with a multi gun. Next to him, we have the Leader. He's got Mentor, which is, funnily enough, he can mentor himself, so he gets <laughs> to re-roll his shots in the shooting phase. He's his own hero. That's right. And then next to them, we've got two drones. i got one shield drone and one gun drone for support. And that is my 99 points of Tau Empire. So we're going to be rolling for strategic advantage, aka deployment, uh, to see who picks the which quarter. I rolled a 9. I did not. Okay, so I will take this corner. Okay. Sounds good to me. This is uh, our deployment, and we're getting ready to roll our initiative phase. Um, I got to pick a side, so I deployed my guys over here, uh, just because I didn't want Jason to have any big old buildings to jump up on and be annoying with Tau stuff, you know, like, that's what I figured. Uh, so I kind of deployed my Reavers in a threatening stance, and I used my uh, adaptive tactics with my veteran, and I ran him or advanced him nine inches uh, before the initiative phase, so... That's why he's way out over here, and then the rest are kind of just uh, holding the semi-circle. Jason, what about you? Well, uh, I've basically put my whole team in one spot back here, 
um, just kind of hiding from us, whatever you could throw at me turn one. Um, we'll see how things go. I don't really have any special moves or anything like that. Um, so not a whole much else to say, so... On with the uh, initiative. Initiative phase test roll off. Here we go. Alright, so just got it. Alright. Here we go. So, starting with the boom phase. Uh, I'm going to see if I want to advance anything. I don't think I will. We'll be back at the end of the movement phase. So here we are at the end of the first battle rounds movement phase. I started uh, first because I got priority. So I moved my whole force basically over here uh, to attempt to try and get some shots and some good overwatch on uh, the... What are they called? Intercessors? Reavers. Reavers that are coming. And uh, so that was basically what I did. Claire, do you want to mention okay. what you did? So what I did was... Um... On top of moving my forces up the board, I ran with uh, him and with him. So those two and everyone else moved. Nothing's ready on my part. I then charged with my veteran, and I used shock and awe, which lets you throw a shock grenade uh, before they get to Overwatch. So I shock grenaded his heavy gunner, um, and in return, Jason used... Uh, I used a card called the Beta Trap. Uh, which is basically for two CPs, uh, a model can overwatch on a four plus because Tau have a six inch support fire for the greater good rule. Sorry, is yeah. what it's called now. Uh, so because he was a target of charge, I overwatched with these two models. I inflicted one wound with the gun drum, but unfortunately, even with four plus re rollable, I couldn't hit with the fusion blaster. So <laughs> yeah. you know, you can't uh, can't get them all. But so the next yeah, I got a I got a nine inch charge. So even though my guy was right here, I was able to go up. Up and around the train with my uh, my grapnel launcher and stuff, and lock down multiple guys with my charge, and then it's going to be the movement or the shooting phase, mm -hmm. and uh, so I guess we'll, we'll see. see yeah, we'll see at the end of the shooting phase. So this is the first battle round shooting phase. So uh, I started off with using my scanner from my comms guy to give plus one ballistic skill to the fusion blaster. That fusion blaster shot at the reaver that was here. Uh, and just barely managed to hit him with the, 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 the bump to ballistic skill and fried him. Uh, did a ton of wounds and yeah. And then this guy here uh, was hitting on sixes, but I just decided to fire anyway. I managed to get one hit on this guy, but couldn't win him. The intercessor. On oh, the intercessor. Uh, and then I shot back with the intercessor at his uh, fusion blaster. I rolled a two to hit instead of the five I needed. And that's the uh, shooting face for us. See you back at the uh, end of the combat phase. Alright, so uh, we just finished up our combat round, and my Reaver did one on the shield drone, and then two on the leader, and I failed to wound on the shield drone with his one attack. And, but I did get one through on the leader, he failed his armor save, he didn't opt to uh, save your protocol a drone down for it. And then in return he managed to inflict one successful wound on me, which I passed, so... Uh, Tie combat. <coughs> no, uh, <laughs> no. So that's the end of the combat phase. Uh, neither of us have to do nerve because of there's no flesh wounds, and I haven't gotten under uh, fifty. So it's going to be back to initiative test for battle round two. Uh, we're going to roll for priority for the next battle round. Initiative. <clears throat> initiative. Whatever. Mm. Battle score. Whatever the hell you want to call it. Dick size. All right. So Jason gets initiative. Already. Eight, eight inch dick. Alright, so see at the end of the movement phase. Jason won the initiative roll, so mm -hmm. let's go over to Jason to explain his movement. Okay, so the entire stealth group kind of just moved back this way, again sticking together. Um, as a team. As a team. And that was my movement. All right. What did you do in the movement phase? So I moved my scout leader to better capture the objective way down at the end. I moved my primaris to get maybe a firing line on the new formation, and I advanced my tactical sergeant. Um, he got a total of eight inches, uh, and so he's in position ready to flame. And then I uh, repeated last turn, I used shock and awe with my, uh, my veteran, and I tagged his fusion blaster, and we could shock and awe, like the shock grenades, last until the end of the next battle round. The one I had hit his, uh, his heavy guy with, the previous turn uh, was still in effect, so he effectively had half his overwatch, was able to get in safely, and then I charged him with my combat um, Reaver Sergeant, and he also missed his overwatch with the one model he elected to do so. 
So uh, I got two charges off and I'm closing into position on the towel and we'll see at the end of the shooting phase. So this is the uh, end of the second battle round shooting phase. I'll start off as I shot first, I yeah. believe. <laughs> okay, so I had basically two models to shoot with. So at the start of my shooting phase, I used the scanner from my comms guy for the, the uh, leader, who then fired his burst cannon. I got threes, I got two hits, uh, did a wound, he passed a save. On my tactical surgeon, yeah. And then with the same tactical surgeon, I uh, shot with my flamer portion of my commie flamer, got two hits, and I deviated it up between his comm guy and his leader. And he elected to block uh, the, them both with drones. So the first drone died, the shield drone died from its uh, savior protocols. And then the second drone took a flesh wound. Uh, Go figure, the so, shield drone's the one that died. Yeah, well, <laughs> it was the more important wound. So yeah. uh, pretty good result from the, the tackle surgeon for me. Mm -hmm. uh, My final model that I had was the comms guy who also fired at this guy uh, doing a wound. But you did two, two. sorry. Yeah, two he wounds. did two. He did good. Yeah, he did two wounds and he, I still passed he them still all. Passed, yeah. And then uh, that was it because I couldn't actually see anyone with my intercessor down there. So it's going to be combat. So we'll see at the end of the combat phase. All right, so uh, my melee phase was a little disappointing. I split my attacks with my veteran first, uh, one into the shield drone and two into the stealth suit. Good drone. Uh, drone. <laughs> and I failed to wound with all the attacks. I hit like one and one and then fail both wounds and then my combat guy who has like the sixes to wound cause mortal wounds or something like that I hit like two out of his five attacks and rolled a three to one. So uh, I didn't do much and then Jason's drone that I'm spoiling for his part uh, but Jason's drone killed my uh, my veteran off in melee in melee which is pretty funny yeah so uh, not sure how that works yeah, but we'll, we'll see how so it's going it's yeah. gonna be a turn three initiative so we'll see you there uh, turn three uh, initiative I rolled an eight Jason rolled a four Ooh. so I get to go first oh, I have to mark that it's turn three too <gasps> there we go okay um so Jason won it? No, I won it, which okay. is super not true. So we'll see you at the end of the phase. I won the initiative roll off, so there isn't too much I could do. As a result, I moved my intercessor uh, up onto the truck to try and get some line of sight. I readied my tactical sergeant. Uh, I couldn't do anything with my uh, reaver because he was locked in combat, and my scout sergeant just kind of screwed out of the way. Uh, of any possible line of sightingness. So that was my movement. Okay, so for my movement, I moved basically the whole group, well, they sort of spread out this time. So this model moved normal move back here, as well as this drone. The leader and this model both advanced, because they can advance and fire. So they got, he got a good 14 inches and he got like nine. The uh, comms guy moved it with his normal move eight inches over here. And uh, so we're just ready to shoot him now. And so for me. So yeah, we'll see you at the end of the shooting phase. So here we are at the end of the shooting phase. Uh, well, what can I say? So this guy here with the fusion blaster, he took a shot at the reaver that was here and nuked him. Yeah. Well, what actually, the first thing that happened was my uh, ready guy. That's right. Yeah, because you had a ready model. Yeah. He fired his his flamer and his is the combi flamer. I screwed up on my uh, my tactics use. I could have used. Something. Anyway, he used a tactic that made me hit on sixes uh, with the combi part, uh, like the bolter part. Well, I minus could've... one. It was, resulted yeah, in the six. Yeah. Um, and I could have used one that ignored all negative modifiers. Uh, anyway, I failed to do that. I still managed to put a wound onto his leader, and he passed that off onto his drone that died. So, and then he went and started blasting my guys. That's right. Uh, so... After the fusion blaster, these guys basically all fired on this guy here. I used uh, the focus fire stratagem, uh, as well as more bullets on him, and just uh, volume of fire took him down. He took like three, two, was it two flesh wounds this yeah, round? Yeah, before he died. Yeah, so he just like, he went down fighting, uh, he just didn't go down easy. So that was it for my shooting. We'll see you at the end of the next thing that we're going to film. Uh, initiative. Initiative. Turn. Okay. Alright, so we're rolling for initiative. It's turn um, four now, yeah. right? Last turn. Oh, yeah. Alright, lost the initiative roll. Alright, good. Initiative Tau. Tau. We'll see you at the end of the movement phase. Alright, so this is the uh, the end of turn four movement. Uh, Jason won initiative, so we'll go with him first. Okay, so I advanced these two models over here. 
This guy rolled a six, my leader, so he went, oh, there's this wound. He actually went full 14 inches. Um, this guy, he went from here to here. Uh, advanced, so they both advanced, but they both ignore the minus one, so it's cool. Uh, this guy moved over here onto the objective, the regular move. And this guy used a regular move to move onto this objective and try to, you know, shoot So, uh, what I did, I tried to declare a charge of my scout surgeon at his objective holder. Needed an 11, rolled a 6, felt the charge. I elected not to move so I could still be on the objective, uh, even though he's about to get pasted. And then I readied my, uh, my intercessor over here. So, we'll see the end of the shooting phase. So, here we are at the end of the shooting phase. Uh, tau phase. The tau phase. <laughs> the tau phase. We're gonna start with the fusion blaster. So he fusion blasted whoop, this guy. I played uh, ignores cover, multi spectrum sensor suite, and I also give him the comms plus one boost. So while I combined, I managed to hit, oh, and my reroll re and yeah. the, the veteran reroll. So all my shenanigans combined, I managed to hit him and frame him off the top of that thing, melted him good. Um, this guy didn't have anybody to shoot, so he didn't do anything. These two guys up here. Uh, they fired a torrent of shots into here. Uh, I played uh, focus fire for this guy, so he wounded on two. He got uh, all told. I did like two flash wounds to him. Well, the first one actually killed him, but That's I right. used death deny with my last two command points to bring him back up. And then the second guy also wounded him, and I managed to pass the uh, the out of action roll. So this clearly scout is just hanging on with yeah. by his toenails, you know. So uh, yeah, that's still, we have the nerve tests, yep. nerve broken. Like, if I have to pass the nerve, then I have to pass a break test. Yep. Which I actually I think I should have done last Is time. Is that worth doing live? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's do a bottle test here. So, we'll right, nerve, nerve test. Are the nerve tests are first? Or uh, so, four. I have, like, five guys out of action. That's five. Uh, so, that would be a fail. I'm space marine, so you get to reroll that. Oh, cool. So, four. Uh, so, that fails, I believe, because it's... I don't know, actually, no. It's been a while since I have to do this. I might have passed it. We're checking rolls live. Yeah. Intermission. <laughs> Alright. Okay, uh, Scout Surgeon, leadership 8. So, I did pass that. Nice. Alright, reroll. Uh, and now I have the, the bottle test. The bottle test! Uh, which I failed. There we go. So, Jason wins. Good uh, bottom of turn 4. Gonna be over anyway, so we'll turn this into a strip mall, a towel strip yeah. mall. Do we have a VP total or? Uh, so VP total because I bottled. Uh, he gets. Is he still considered to be there? No, no. It's well, like five for your dead. You five VP yeah. for dead. So he gets five plus another three for each objective. So that's eleven. Okay. And, and I got yeah. two for the drones I killed. And you died, so you didn't hold the objective. Yeah. Well, I bottled. The it's broken, so I can't right. hold objectives right. anymore. Right, right, right. One on yeah. ones. We'll see you in the post game show. Yeah. All right, so uh, welcome to our post-game show. Uh, you probably just watched us play some Kill Team because it was pretty short, I assume. Uh, we don't actually know. It's we our don't first know. time. Yes, yeah, uh, we just kind of hammered out this format, and we're hoping it works. I think it worked pretty well. Yeah, so um, in the end, Taiwan 11-2. to two. Uh, We just assumed the game kind of ended there because it ends one-on-one. Yeah. Uh, one. Yeah, yeah. um, so, Jason, what was your MVP of the game? MVP of the game. Well, I'm gonna give it to the Fusion Blaster. Mm -hmm. He dropped three guys uh, with extreme prejudice, oh, yeah. which yeah. is <laughs> half the kill team last <laughs> pretty, I checked. Yeah, like pretty sick. Fifty percent of your team actually. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, geez, yeah. pretty good. Uh, for me, I think my MVP had to be the Veteran Reaver. Yeah. Uh, just because he like his hail mary oh, charge. Oh, well, he there. like he scouted up the board. He like locked down some shooting. Scared the shit out of Jason. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's yeah. like, oh, what? Yeah. Like, we had to honestly, for the first two turns, like, you, had me on you back were pretty for, locked. I was really, like, yeah. yeah. Oh, was, um, you were just, just from, like, one guy, like, we threw a being into able to... System. The, the, the fact that it lasts, for, like, until the oh, end of yeah. the next battle round lets you kind of deal with a couple dudes at once. Yeah. Um... That being said, what was your what was your epic fail? fail? Epic fail. Uh, the shield drone. Yeah. yeah. So his one <laughs> fucking job is to not die, and then he died. So I was gonna say the pre the pre roll you kept failing. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's the yeah. Well, no, but that's all we have. Kept on handing out like, the plus one to hit. So, so I mean, yeah. yeah. So for me, my epic fail had to be my combat guy, and that's because. Oh, yeah. uh, like, yeah, my, my my demo dude did get like swacked in one shot, but that was more of a my fault yeah. than like the the dice. Um, in terms of like choosing what to hit with the the shock grenade, so the comic guy had the the every six to wound is a mortal wound, 
So I'm like, okay, I'll throw him against the suit. He has five attacks, hits on threes, wounds on fours. The but dice like were against him. So I hit like twice. Uh, and then like didn't wound the still at suit all. Still suit camo hurt you there? Uh, n- no, they were like ones and twos. Yeah, like, so you just rolled like crap, um, yeah. And yeah, so that really was unfortunate for my one guy. Um, what about your MVP? So, oh shit, yeah, my MVP was... No, I said it was the, the Reaver veteran. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the... <laughs> Don't do drugs. But what about your MVP? <laughs> but what about your MVP? <laughs> well, then it was uh, the same Reaver veteran. <laughs> Two minutes or less, your thoughts on the game, Clary? All right, so uh, I thought it was pretty fun. Yeah. Um, the one, like, I, I enjoy myself. The Reavers were a pretty decent counter to Tau because of shock grenades. Those were cool. Um, and the veteran let me... They left catch the towel him. shocked, in fact. Yeah. Let me catch him pretty early and make him have to react. Yeah. But that being said, on the reactionary thing, um, going first really sucks a lot of the time. Um, there was even that card we saw in the Kill Team group that was yeah. genius. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shout out to that one. Yeah, whoever made so, that, you're hilarious. We love you. And nothing's more telling, and this is especially against Fly and retreating from combat, when... You get first, and your guys are locked, and you know they're going to fall back and be able to do everything, but yes. you can't ready yourself because you're in combat, and you can't do anything with that model, so they stand there, and then you'll get to shoot their like gun, if they have any, but most dedicated it's, millions... It's already weird have. when you take fly out of it, just as a core yeah. mechanic. Like I wish it was... Going back to USRs, I wish it was just a yes or no, they have the ability to leave combat, and then fly can be its own thing, yeah. but when you add fly... I think awesome. there should be a, a, at least a minus one to hit. So, something. something. Yeah, I mean. because at least in other scenarios, you know, like I, I locked down like four models with my first like, charge, there's just no, right? Ch- there's no question. They're just like, yeah. Like I, I locked down like four models with my first charge. Oh, yeah. And it's good. But like he... It's the certainty. It's not like it's like a, on a two plus they get to leave or something. It's just the fact that it's a certainty. And so the fact yeah. that like I, I only got turn priority once out of the entire game. Yes, but yes. Even going first once screwed me. Yeah, yeah, that's completely. True. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was uh, that's unfortunately just like my thought on uh, like turn priority charging yeah. fly. Um, it's really just the the combination of, of all of it, right? If okay. the, you didn't have yeah. fly, even if I did charge you, and you just fell back in your turn of movement, then you wouldn't be able to shoot. That's like yeah. The yeah. downside, right? Yeah, you yeah. can leave right away, but you can't shoot at all. Yeah. But uh, it's just the, the combination. Yeah. But yeah. other than that, it was pretty fun. I screwed up on my uh, my shock and awe priority, and I held my intercessor too far back. Cause, uh, the one on top of the yeah. truck? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't do much for you. Anyway, so... <clears throat> Jason, two minutes less your thoughts on the game. So, uh... Well, this was my first time running an all stealth suit list. I've run gamey. <clears throat> Wouldn't play you. Uh, whatever. <laughs> else went from thirteen say. models to six. So. Yes. Uh, so I've been like basically what I did was uh, for my own amusement. I was like, okay, the so first game I'm going to play is with Pathfinders, and then the next game I'm going to play is with like, Firewood. It's like an escalation. Of, yeah. So now we're at the stealth suit. Level. Next one's Bane Blade. No, next exactly. one's all drones. All drones. The, the, the drone and Ning. Yeah. Okay. Um, so they're quite strong. I. I don't know if I'm ready to call them overpowered yet, but they might be. <laughs> um, well, four shots plus fly plus a good range is, is and a great. save and two wounds. And yeah, two attacks, the and rule and everything. Toughness four. Yeah, like they have a lot of things going for them. Decent leadership. At the same time, they just have volume of fire yeah. and like, yeah. or you can have like a single shot gun. Yes. And you know, a lot of this is being propped up by our, our house rule of you get to pick and choose the, exactly. the trees. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Well, so said. the the average. Here's a match like, play game. You're gonna yeah. have you'll have your your, your heavy your multi melt yeah. 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 yeah, and he'll hit not get anything yeah. right. Like yeah. there won't be he'll get plus one to hit from your comp. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. It. Yeah. Um. So that's fine. I'm fine with that. Like I'm sure the Death Guard can like give them a run for the money because they're like pretty mid range heavy. Your range is eighteen. Here's the thing. So. I look at it too. Like if the gun drone has the same damage output, same toughness. As as the stealth suit, yeah. less ballistic skill, less attacks, mm-hmm. like you know whatever. But yeah. if you kind of want, if you want to just look at it as like a damage output, yes, the ballistic skill is different. But like, it's less than half the cost, so you kind of, I don't know, what. 
It's like it's got a it's a really strong well, package of of being resistant, but it's yeah, you're right. It only has that. When we were talking earlier outside, I was like, I wish they just flat doubled the points. They call it a two hundred point game. The reason being is you'd have so much more leeway to cost things. Yeah. There'd be so much more like this is the one point less or one point more. The resolution of the pointage needs exactly. to be a little higher. I completely agree. Because when we even when we look at some weapons, right? Like some weapons are free, depending on who they're for. Some weapons are like one point. Some are two. Some are three. But when you look at the differences between them, it's like the auto takes come out oh, because totally. when it's one point difference for something that's three times as good, well. Well, a good great example is a gun drone. Yep. And the recon drone are the same points, but the and one has a burst cannon. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's still four shots. Yeah, yeah. Either way, yeah, four yeah. shots either way. It's literally the same thing. Yeah. But one has two wounds. Right. Yeah. It's strength four for some reason. Um, but anyways, going back to the shots. game. Going back to the game. I think uh, I, you know, it's a list that I think a lot of people have come to with Tao. It's a good list. The yeah. four stealth suits, two drones. Um, it's a lot of fun to play. It's very mobile, very Plays fast. I think this particular game went really. It was a great matchup because we've kind of had sort of the same thing. It was very kind of like cat and also cat. Six like, on six. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was good. It was also six models on six models. Uh, I think it was a it was a great matchup. I think I played pretty decently yeah, it was and fun. like I got pretty lucky in a lot of things. You got like average lucky. Like it wasn't. Yeah. Like I think a my team could have been. Bit better, I could have had a plasma gunner that I was aggressive with. I was gonna say a plasma, um, like if that gun the truck was like a plasma gunner. Yeah, like that. Because be like you overcharge and that can be like boom, your still dead. Like, oh yeah, like, bam, bam, bam. Totally, um, totally. And like a high, shots, like. like a high chance to kill it as well. Yeah. Um, and then also, yeah, just like some misplays on my part. Second like plasma skin. Yeah. yeah. Um, looking forward to the, the the commander release. Any thoughts on that? I think. They've put so much, like, sub-classes into the commander package that, like, just saying, like, oh, you have, like, a, a captain or, like, a chaplain. Yeah. And they've split their a lot of their abilities into aura ability, like, uh, yeah. tactics. Like, a right. lot of their, yeah. like, current auras into tactics. It's really hard to say anything other than, like, higher point-level games, more kill right. one guy. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the Necron one is going to be fucking annoying. Like uh, they're, yeah, the, the, the res orb is quite good. Um, the the mechanicus guy is probably gonna be fucking annoying. Like uh, yeah. they're the, all the gonna, fire blade. You can yeah. make all, all the fire warriors around him shoot twice yeah, with the pulse guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like they're all gonna be pretty annoying in their own. Well, parts. I guess that's the fear too. Is it just gonna turn into forty k again if you keep going this way? <laughs> I know, right? But uh, yeah, we'll see how like the point escalation well, works. We'll see how the yep. uh, the subclasses work and the tactics associated with each guy, And but until then, it's like, yeah, we're going to get commanders. One idea we've floated, too, and this may be good for people just learning, is trying a few games without the cards, meaning you, you, you have everything you have, just there's no CP. Maybe just keep it so it's just a flat reroll if you just don't yeah. want to have that be part of the game, but yeah, the basic the idea is just you can learn the composition of your enemy's forces and your own before the shenanigans. Because just when we were playing the game, like, right off the bat, we had a bit of a gotcha, which was the, the throwing. I'm not yeah, the shock and awe, yeah. The shock and awe, exactly. That's so it's cool. one of those things of... But I threw a gotcha back at him. Oh, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what I'm saying is that the nature of a lot of the cards is like, you can do that. So, yeah, it just it takes a lot of people by surprise. Plus, there's cards that are similar but different for factions. Yeah. Where it can be, there's like one word difference, but it means everything. Yeah. Things like that. It's true. But uh, yeah. so far, we're liking how fast it plays, right? Oh, yes, yeah. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, like there's the idea we can get a couple games in in one night. It's mm -hmm. so different than 40k or 30k. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm excited to keep on playing more, yeah. making models. The oh, one yeah. thing I really like is, like, I kind of got burned out of 8th ed 40k, but... A lot of painting for each army. Well, that, but it's also, like, things are clearly good and bad. Yes, yeah, exactly. Eighth, yeah. Like, yeah. very, very clearly, and there's no reason ever to make the bad things despite how cool they might look. Right. And what Kill Team's done is they made a lot of the cool things that you never use in 40k, like, yes. usable and, like, often and good. And that is, that is a defense of the cards, too, is that um, they're what actually shake things up a little bit, too, because they make the some that it's more useful. Point. Sometimes it's just, like, the combat and, like, fire on, like, good weapons, how that yep. stacks yep. up. Yeah. And sometimes it's just the nature of uh, obscurement and terrain. Yep. And... Mm -hmm stealth suits or like lictors you know like things yeah. like that yeah. but um it makes uh untakeable units in one format like very much wanting to be taken. that's very true so i'm excited to keep on painting and totally yeah. 
Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, any Patreon jokes for me? Um, <laughs> donate to me my Patreon so I can buy more yeah. models Smash for that like button and click that subscription bell to get <laughs> notifications first and be part of that notification squad. Be the first one to comment. <laughs> And tell us how we're rooting the game with house rules. Yeah, exactly. Right. These guys aren't playing a campaign, you're doing it wrong. Like, yeah, can't. or... Um, Let's take it just about house rules. Just I think that, uh, you know, worst case scenario, so they do something terrible and they... I don't know. Yes, yeah, so in, just in to case make it really you, bad you yeah. skip from... We can just do whatever unless, we want. Unless you guys have skipped, like, to the end, <laughs> you haven't watched the game, mm -hmm. just from our 40k games, yeah, we, we introduced four separate skill points you can give out regardless of the... Tree. It's like, uh, yes, like it's the, 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 the fear of the, the flanks. flanks. Yeah, yeah, this we gotta, is. Uh, we gotta call it something. Yeah. But you know what? Again, we build that into this the, this scenario. Like we'll yeah. write the scenario, and as part of it, it's just order of operations. Apply that. Uh, it's also a, we we're gonna take away the, the pregame uh, thing that never matters. <sighs> yeah, it just usually doesn't matter. Is the thing for yeah. me? I mean, I I, I argue be... that it does, but that's fine. <laughs> All the time I've done it, Jason. To me, though, dude, like, it's one more thing. My whole faction gets to move before the game starts. It's you know? one more fucking yeah. thing that but I just can't for do. For me, like, I have it tried changes it. changes my list. Of like, sure, yeah. Times, yeah. And every time nothing happened as a result. Yeah. Like, so to... Every time I used it, it was, it was pretty big. Anecdotally, like, it's just like... Well, nothing. It, like, we might as well have just get it because nothing did happen. So that's... Nice. If it was, like... 100% of the choices could have a small impact. Mm -hmm. wasn't, like, game-changing, but, it, like, interesting small impact pre-game. Yeah. Well, and in fairness, we're, we're trying to... Unless, we're trying to stream, streamline it for, like, maybe tournaments one day. Yeah, that so I So we're kind of yeah. boring if uh, fying the game to where it's only ever one scenario, only because that way it's all with the lists. Yeah. Um, the terrain, the terrain... Regardless of scenario you're playing, the terrain is, like, the game. Totally. So that's the thing, too, is we're finding... At least I'm finding... If I set up the board I like... I forget I have to leave space for the objectives, which are fixed the way we're playing. Yeah. So that's another thing we have to look into. Yeah, but that's uh, uh, neat. Yeah. Anyway, we'll uh, keep on playing. Keep yeah, on. definitely. Yeah, we'll keep posted with any more kill team activity that we come up with. Have a good night. All right. Gods of war, may your hammer be mighty.